Welcome back, everybody. This is one of my high school t-shirts. My school was H.B. Beal, which stands for Herbert Benson Beal, the first principal of the school. The school is now well over 100 years old. At one point, it housed 3,000 students, but it was downsized about 20 years ago when it was modernized, and now it only holds about 2,000 students. I spent my last 25 years teaching at H.B. Beale, and we were the Beale Raiders. On the front of the t-shirt, you can see the play on words, staph infection, the word staph coming from the word Staphylococcus aureus. This is the t-shirt that we wore when we played sports against the students. For example, when we played floor hockey. Don't you think I look like that creature? No? What about now? I think I look like I'm alive, don't I? So uh, today's match is going to be human versus Wuhan. I want to talk about some of the possible growth rates of the coronavirus, the COVID-19, also called the Wuhan or the Chinese virus. So let's look at the calculator and talk about some different growth rates. One possibility is linear growth. You can see a bunch of equations there. Let's highlight the first one, y equals 2x. This is very simple linear growth. If I graph it, you can see that the amount of Infections go up, goes up linearly. The slope is a constant, but it goes to infinity, so that's not a good growth rate. If I look at the second one, it's quadratic. I'll turn off the first one. You can see it goes up even more rapidly, which is much worse. The number of infections goes to infinity. Let's look at exponential growth. You can see the equation there. The second one was y, simply y equals x squared. This is y equals 2 to the x. If I graph this, it increases even more rapidly. So that's a very dangerous growth. Now let's look at a square root graph. One second, I have to highlight that. This grows even more rapidly at the beginning, but it tends to level off. However, it still goes to infinity, but much more slowly, so it's still not a great consequence or, or a great growth rate. Now let's go back and look at a couple rational growth rates. This is x over x plus 1. By the way, I've thrown in some constants like 20 and 50 just so it fits on the same graph. Otherwise, I have to change the scales. I don't want to do that. So if I graph this one, the increase is also very rapid like the square root, but it levels off. So the growth rate doesn't go to infinity. This is a much better result. And then the last one, It's also a rational function, but it's basically x over x squared plus 1, so it has an interesting result. Watch this. Much, very rapid growth at first, but it levels off and then the number of cases decreases eventually to zero. So that's what we want to look for. Even if the growth rate is big at the beginning, it might level off. So if, even if it's exponential or quadratic, or similar to those, this could happen in the long run. It could level off. Now let's look at all of those at the same time. So I will highlight them and compare them. Are you ready? So there's the linear one, there's the quadratic, there's the exponential, there's the square root, 
Here's the first rational function which levels off. And then the last one was, was already there. That's the best of all. Let's hope for that scenario. So in order to accomplish that, remember, wash your hands. It's very important. Make sure you self-isolate and obey social distancing. And also, be careful when, when you're in contact with the elderly because they're most vulnerable. If you can follow all of those suggestions and any others that your local government recommends, we can beat this thing. Thank you very much, and take care. Be safe.